Welcome back everybody. It's it's been a little bit of a while. Just, just a bit of a while, but a while nonetheless. Since we finished the fourth house's final gold challenge, we got all four houses gold challenges done. Pretty fun stuff, if I may say so myself. But there's a fifth house. And a sixth house, but I don't think they actually have challenges for these. So I'm not too worried about that. We're pretty darn close, and yet we're just still pretty darn far away, because and there's bronze challenges, there's silver challenges, and there's gold challenges. And you know, when I first saw this, I was a little excited because it would mean that once we beat the silver challenge, we get another item, just like uh, just like these other ones. You know, you get the balanced dagger and stuff. Well, that's not the case, according to Lacat, and I have no reason not to trust Lacat. You can always trust Lacat. So we're looking at bronze challenges today, which must mean they're easy, right? Well, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not looking forward to Transmuter or Crusader because in a way it feels like you need a little more planning and because uh, you know Crusader you have to you have to like line up all your kill shots Transmuter you have to line up your spell casting otherwise you're going to you know cross the conversion threshold and empty all your mana into your base damage and well you know it's, it tends to be a good thing it tends to be a good thing I think Tinker out of these three is the easiest one for me to use especially since you know it's a merchant a negotiator and MacGyver, you know, you can read all these things, okay? Tinkers excel at finding new opportunities in even the harshest of climates. As leader of a particularly brave Tinker trade force, it will be up to you to push civilization further east and start reclaiming the icy tundra from the bandits and undead. How the bandits live there with the undead? Oh well, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay, so we are kind of sort of a merchant. More shops, more fun stuff. What ought we go as? <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, Tinker is one of those things that's just kind of wide open. You can you can go for like pure attack. You can go for majory. I guess plus HP wouldn't be a bad thing. Goblin doesn't make the most sense. Oh, right. That's another thing. For Tinker, I think race actually matters a bit more. <clears throat> because you have access to more items because things are cheaper. And yes, you should be able to get more conversions out of items that you just buy, okay? So, I feel like Goblin isn't all that great. I mean, it would be nice to level whenever you feel like it, but... I don't know, just in the end, it's not that strong. In my opinion. So, psh, yeah, let's just go human. No preps. I kind of like not having any preps, because then, you know, I don't have to make tough decisions, or as many tough decisions, but that also tends to mean that the challenge itself is harder. So, who knows? Who knows? Alright, some money on the ground. Boom. Five. Okay, great. A soul orb, and since you know items are five gold cheaper, this is really good on the conversion ratio. I'm thinking about buying it, but let's wait until we know for sure. Because you know, if nothing in here mana burns, what on? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on, that is a brand new picture, completely new. 170 episodes into this game, and we see a new enemy type, Rattling. I mean, I know they're working on, like, an update for this game somewhat. It's mostly going to be for mobile devices and stuff. We'll see how that goes. Um, okay, I'll, I'll keep you in mind, Mr. Rattling. But I can't take you on it now. You're, you're a little too strong for me. <clears throat> this is actually a pretty good deal. I mean, 7 gold for plus 4 damage. That's pretty much the same ratio as what you're going to get from uh, a fine sword, actually. So I think I won't mind buying it. I hope I made the right choice. I mean, it is a nice item overall. No! No! Not the human thieves! How could you? How could you, developers of this game? I don't want to kill human thieves. Oh well. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm thinking that I gotta be my tinkeriest. Jeez, that just sounds bad. And um, I can definitely do this with a good end dare. So, I hate, you know, to uncover all this darkness because I regen so slow at level 1. But it is what it is. Uh, actually I could have killed him without the thing. I just needed to get in there. Well, I'll keep it anyway. Well, let's see how this goes. Okay, let's go ahead. You took money from me? You took money from me? Okay, well, now you're dead. <clears throat> okay, so I'm guessing the cut purse is probably a very similar deal. And I bet you I can take one on. <laughs> At level 1, with the nice things I have. Oh, I need one more max HP. 
Yeah, I bought the troll heart. I bought the troll heart. I'm sorry, just I, I like the troll heart. It's just I don't know. It's been it's been a while, okay? So if I had one more HP, I could definitely take on a coppers. Yeah. Yeah. Um I don't want to level. A cut throat. A cut purse and a cut throat. Okay, things are getting a little interesting. And these guys may burn. I wonder if they're meant to be the same race as you. Because I'm human. And I think that's human. I've seen it before. I know that's human. I just don't know. I want one more HP up. An attack up wouldn't be bad either. But it doesn't really change things. with Vis-a-vis -vis that, uh, that guy over there. Yeah, him. This would change things. Especially since it's only three gold. Um, what ought I shrink? I'm going to be converting this troll heart at some point. I want to keep this forever, though. That's how I do things. That's how I decide. <clears throat> I, I always go with what I'm going to keep longest to be the thing that I want. Okay, if that's five more max HP. I can definitely take on a cut purse now. Firmity, firmity, smackity, kill. What was that? You can't tell me I didn't see that. Well, I'll kill this cut purse first, and then we'll go explore what happened over there. Okay, that was, that was some really quick level ups in rapid succession. I'm going to first strike before I even get there, because, you know, I'm just going to be grabbing this stuff anyway. I hate people like you. You think that golden trinkets can replace experience and cunning. You're an affront to pretty much any profession that requires actual skill and training. Money can make control of the world, but doesn't give you mu doesn't do you much good if we just take it from you. Regards, Cuddy Snark. My goodness. I mean, I I, I didn't really say this much, guys. But when it came to the berserker challenges, they were funny. But they were also a little disturbing to me because I was pretty much killing humans. I was killing people on our side of the village. I'm betting that she levels up every time I level up. Okay, well anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I I feel like, you know, it says we're fighting undead and bandits. But these guys look like, well, not this bandit, but this and this and the thieves I killed. They all look like, you know, fellow villagers. Maybe just on the wrong side of payday or something. But, you know, now I'm killing him, so... Uh, oh, and he gets to take money, too. I hope I'm doing this right. I'm thinking that maybe I should, like, spend all my money. If I can get two more gold. Just buy this, and then they can't take anything that I don't have. I guess. Or something, or something. Alright. Uh, what's in here? The war garb. Oh, I'm one gold away. Come on. Um, if I kill him, he doesn't drop gold. Okay, well, you know, I, I couldn't remember. I couldn't be made to remember. I mean, well, these elven boots are nice, but I don't think I need magic resist. And that's the main reason why I want them. Agnostic's collar. I don't think, I haven't seen any altars here. I could be wrong. Come on. I just need two more gold. Oh wait, I can I can steal something for free with this translocation seal. Which means, you know, if I really want to, I could take the elven boots. Don't really want them that badly though, because uh Because stuff. And I also don't really feel too great about this plate mill yet. Yet. I mean at the moment it's taking off six damage. The main reason why I don't like it is because if I fight somebody, even though levels that I would one shot, they get a hit on, on me. And guess what? That means they get to take some of my money. And as a tinker, that's just not okay. Just not all right. Ah, there we go. Okay. So what am I buying? A soul orb? I'm not feeling it for the soul orb as much as I might be feeling it for the war garble or the, the venom dagger. I think we'll do it. Okay, now you can take money from me. It's okay. You're only going to get like two gold from me or some small amount. Who knows? We're looking for, I don't know, level fives? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, right. I need room. I need room. Need room. Need room. Need room. Um, I think I might be hanging on to this for a little while. Otherwise, it's perfect conversion fodder. 
What else would I be hanging on to though? I'm thinking maybe the tri sword might be good enough to hang on to until the end of the game. So, you know, we'll go with that and we'll do that and then we'll, I don't know, turn a mouse into stone. Yay! And let's go ahead and, you know, use our get in there again. And now I can just go ahead and take this guy on. Did, did you poison? Oh no, I poisoned him. Of course, of course. Alright, boom. Another level one? You're another level one. I kind of like, you know, doing him first before, you know, the rattling. Because, you know, the rattling... I don't know. I'm just paranoid, okay? Just paranoid. Alright. We're looking for... Oh, right. She leveled up. Um, and as a rogue, she's just going to get stronger and stronger. <clears throat> Which gives me a crazy idea. <clears throat> I might actually restart this. If she's a rogue, that would mean that at level 1, she should be level 2? Or would that make her level 4? Level 3? In any case, if I can find this here pin of mana, and maybe something else, um... A pen of mana, and enough damage to just take her down. She should only have 15 max HP. I might be able to just kill her right then and there. Who knows? Who knows? Let's just do this the regular way. For now. Yes. Oh. Uh, yep, I got I got the EXP boost. Um, I'm not going to grab that gold yet. I'm going to leave gold on the ground until I know how I'm going to spend it. Let's try and not take the wall stuff. I feel sick. That actually would be nice. I mean, well, she's actually doing pretty good on a, the region fight game because <clears throat> she gets eight times. I think I might be able to take her on, actually, if I use this I feel sick to my fullest. So, let me consider this. Every time I cast it on her, it's going to put 40 venoms on her. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I go and heal. Yeah, I can I can take her on now with this. I feel sick. Definitely. Well, let's get rid of what I feel like would be... I kind of want to keep the bloody sigil. I'm sorry. I guess... I guess... I don't know. I, I need room. Bloody sigil would help my regening. Pend of health kind of helps me live. Troll heart, I'm going to say, is probably the thing to get rid of. I hope I made the right choice. Okay. So let's just go ahead and venom her. And smack her. And venom her again. For good measure. Hopefully we don't come across vampires. Vampires will completely ruin my whole plan here. Smack her again. Venom her again. You know, we're doing pretty good. I think the venom dagger is plenty helping. And then we'll grab these three. How many you got? Seven? Gee. Alright then. I know, this is just a bronze challenge. There's no need to remind me of that. Uh, it's not like I'm I'm doing the world a, a huge favor by being the first one to beat Tinker Bronze Challenge. But, uh, I'd like to think of myself as doing pretty good. Oh, and just a little more. And then boom. Yep, yeah, that's it. That did it. That does it for this. Boom. Well, as much as I love short episodes, I, I want to explore around a bit. Because, guys, there's there's a mouse man. Mouse woman? The the necktie thingy, the, the collar kind of says man to me a bit. I don't know. I want to see if there's any new enemies down here. Okay? I know, I know. I beat it at level 5. I can just leave, but let's not do that yet. Oh, hey, I burned her eyes. That might have helped. Um, <laughs> I'm buying it out of principle. Oh, I might as well take this too. That's something that I wonder about. Oh my gosh. I'm buying this out of principle. <laughs> Sorry. One gold for the blue bead. I forgot that, uh, you know, Tinker makes things five gold cheaper. So would that make, um, the wicked guitar, would that make the blue bead free? And now we know the answer to that. It doesn't make it free, but it does make it, you know, one gold. Okay. So this is this is done. I mean, I don't see any, like... Oh, there's another rattling. Okay, well, I'll kill it just for fun, and that will be it. 
Dang, there was a ton of resources left. I, oh, hey, um, in case I get to take any money back with me, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, wait. Yes, this is what I want to do. I'm going to use it on, well, hang on. I need to get rid of something. I'll make it the I feel sick, even though it pretty much gave me the win here. And then I'll turn that into gold. <laughs> 30 gold. Nice. I mean, this might be something to do in case we're going with, uh, not Jahora, but that one guy, Tiki Tuki. He likes money. Okay. I don't think I get to take any gold back with me, so this is probably all for naught. I don't care. Let's just go. Tinker Bronze Challenge. We're cheeky and faithless, and a whole bunch of other things, too. Unstoppable? Oh, okay. Probably because there weren't any level 8s there except for the boss. And I only made the boss level 8, so that's a thing. That's a thing. It's a thing. Maybe I'm not that great at Tinker, and maybe I just got kind of lucky in the fact that, uh, well, not lucky in that I've skilled up since, you know, Warlord Gold Challenge, Monk Gold Challenge. There's other challenges greatly helped me. You guys' tips, very helping. Very helping much while, I don't know. Using your freshly discovered bounty, you establish a new outpost in the area with the help of your fellow merchants. This is a major step towards establishing kingdom control over the frigid wastes. I'm sorry guys, but I just get completely um, psyched about uh, finance and mer mercantilism, okay? Capitalism, oh jeez, I brought it into this series too. Dang it, I'm sorry Eric, I'm sorry. Um, if I really want to put something in there. I really like this just for converting it. I'm never going to put this in there. Pen of Health has proved its uses. Venom, the, oh, I was double daggering and I didn't even realize it? Wow. I could have called myself Captain Thief, but I just happened to be a tinker at the time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was so short, I could probably just go ahead and do the silver challenge. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. But calm your horses, guys. I love finance too, but, you know, we have to save this all for, you know, its own episode. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been Captain Thief playing Desktop Dungeons, Tinker Gold Challenge. Going great. I'm loving it so far. And I will see you in the next one.